let's see, let's see how it all works out. Um, you know, I wasn't, <laughs> you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I usually don't handle change very well. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you know, but there's a lot of, you know, I, you know, I, I, I took my lumps, you know, there, yeah. you know, um, and especially, you know, going into high school to, to my own. So that's, that's when the, you know, the, 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 uh, the divide between, you know, how, how I grew up as a kid, you know, or how I grew up, you know, mm-hmm. in my more formative years to, to, to teenagehood versus how, this this new crop of kids Ooh. grew up from their childhood oh, to yeah. teenagers. You know, they made that that whole divide that much more greater. You know, when mm-hmm. I moved um, out, out out to Queens, so yeah. you know, it was there's a bit of a of a learning curve with, with God too, because it's like, all right, well, I want to be accepted by everyone God but right. I still want to be you know yours too like, I was about to ask you like you know, did you ever feel like yeah that you had to try to fit in a little bit oh absolutely yeah, I mean I mean you know and, and there's and, and there's a um, you know because you know, we, we all want to fit in right and and you know but it's the older you get that right. you learn that you Christianity is all about standing out exactly you know right. so um, when, you know, going, going into, you know, going to, to, to school, um, out, out, out in New York and everything like that, you know, like I said, the environment was so much more different. Right. Um, yeah, I assimilated, you know, <laughs> right. Yeah. I blend, yeah, I, I, I blended in, but there was always, as much as I thought that I had blended in, people could tell there was something different. Yeah, exactly. It was like, yeah, but nah. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. but there's something different now, yeah. you know. And, you know, sometimes I, I sometimes I, I, I did fight to be like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm the same, but, you know, but some things you just can't. Right. Some things they are what they are. Right, you know? exactly, exactly. And that was, and that, and that, and that was it. Right. You know, um, there was just things that um, I couldn't do, um, things I wouldn't do. Right. You know, um, be, be because, you know, I'm a Christian, mm-hmm. you know, but it, but then it also played, it also played on me because, you know, when I would, you know, do something I knew I shouldn't have done. It, yo, it you think I, yeah, yeah. feeling like fifteen times worse. Yeah, it's things so much more because you, you know, know cause you know it's, yeah. it's it's wrong. Yeah, and it's kind of like a like yeah. uh, you know yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's like it's like you're you look awkward doing it. Yeah, you feel awkward doing yeah. it wrong. Yeah, and it's like all right, I did it because I wanted to do it, and now yeah. I feel terrible. Yeah. Doing it, you know. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, I mean, you know, it, it was just like, you know, um, I mean, I mean, there was there was, a, there was a bunch, but I mean, and I'm <laughs> because I have a mom who listens to this, so I'm not going to get into all of it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, but I mean, yeah, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of things, you know, that that um, you know, that that I would have liked to have gotten into and right. did, right? Um, you know. I remember partying and yeah. stuff like that being a big thing. Yeah. You know, not being able to go to dances. <laughs> I, I mean, I went to a few of them, uh-huh. you know, um, but, you know, it's different. You know, see, you know, my mom, like, you know, like you said, your, your, your dad was, you know, was, was deacon in church. Uh-huh. The church that we went to, my mother was the youth president. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm saying that right, but she was the, she was over the youth. Let's yeah, just yeah, say that. Yeah, she's yeah. youth, you know. Over the youth. Right. So, there's a lot of, you know, this. It, it feels like there's more eyes on you. Right. You know what I mean? And, and especially, you know, having a, a brother who is now not, you know, there for those eyes to be on uh-huh. and me just kind of do my thing yeah. outside of those outside of those viewing <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my brother's, you know, away in, in North Carolina now 
the eyes are front and center on, you know, teenage, you know, me who's trying to figure the world out and, yeah. you know, figure out his place in it. And, you know, I just, I just remember, you know, my friends from school, you know, they're all like, you know, what's all this church thing about? Why? You know, how come you guys always spend so much time? How come you always spend so much time? And I'm like, you know, you know and, and trying to explain it in that, you know, because I believe in Jesus, you know, I believe, you know, I, and, and, and I, and I love him, you know, it's, it's different to explain because then you get hit with questions. Mad questions. You know, how do you know he's dead? You know? Yeah. And, and, you know, and it's funny because the answer is just, you know, now that I'm older, the answer is simple to to give. Exactly. You know, it's simple. You believe. And that's why it's called a faith because you believe even though you don't see. So, um, you know, I, I had to go through that, but, you know, um, Dating was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, you know, as you get dating older, dating was weird. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, especially as you get older, and then you know, there's things that certain things that you gonna stand for, and that you and you won't, stand right? For. You know, it's just like, okay, listen, this is how this is how I'm living, or this is how I'm trying to live. So. Yeah, and it's. You know, either you win it or you not. <laughs> right, right. But let me let 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 I would say, um, I was, so I, I was, I was just kind of out there, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll let your imagination take this however you want to take it, but sure. ain't my imagination. <laughs> I see <what> you're <laughs> But <laughs> nah, you know, I was just, you know, see, you was wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was on the, you know, on the dating scene and I uh, thought I was, you know, I thought I was a good guy, you know? So eventually I came to the point in my life where I was like, you know what? I want to, I want to be, you know, committed to one woman. I want to get married. I want to have kids. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, I don't remember how it happened, but I know I just started thinking like, yo. Wait, wait, before you finish, don't incriminate yourself, man. You know. Nah, nah, we good, yeah, we, we good, good, we straight. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Statue of limitations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 we straight, we good. All right. So I was just thinking like, um, you know, would you be comfortable if, if you, you know, you want to have kids, you know, you want to get married, have kids and all that. There's a 50% chance that you're going to have a daughter, right? So... That daughter, would you be happy with her meeting a guy like you, being with a guy like mm-hmm. you? So I, that was a quick answer for me. I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm cool, I'm respectful, I'm this, that, and the other. But then I really had to think about that, Joy, and I'm like, nah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, chill, man. So I, I think that was what really kind of sparked me to like change my ways, and then, you know, I really started to, you know, again. Go go! I was you know started to regularly go back to church. Once I did you know transfer back to school closer to home, I was able to go to my home church, and um, and I just really you know really got into the word deeper and really started you know I guess it, you know just kind of getting into the word more. I started praying a little bit different, a little bit deeper, and I really started to ask God for a revelation of His word so I could really understand His word more. And right. that's what you need. You need an understanding of the word, you know, in order to be a a man and not an animal, you know. We could talk about that at another time. Yeah. Um, you know, just that's what really kind of, you know, sparked the change in me is just really kind of holding up the mirror to myself and, you know, seeing how I was, how I was acting, how I was living, you know. And um, that really just made me want to change and made me want to, you know, and also, again, I have a lot of little cousins. We have a lot of little cousins, mm-hmm. you know, on my on my dad's side, my mom's side. That I know that people are looking up to me and looking up to the things that I do. And I didn't really realize that um, until a long time ago. Um, you know, I was, you know, saying some stuff on on social media, and one of my aunts was like, "Yo, what are you doing, man? You know, you got little cousins, you know, that's on here. You can't be out here like that." 
so that again, that knowing that too, that I have people looking up to me, and then also knowing that I'm a representation of Christ. Like, if I'm professing myself to be one way, but I'm living, you know, contrary to that, then there's a problem there. You know, I'm, I'm that's hypocritically living. So I needed to change that. I need to, you know, really stick to the Word of God, stick to His commandments, and really, you know, follow the Word. So yeah. that's what made me change. Yeah, you know, um, with 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 me, I I remember. I remember the service that, you know, where, where I actually, you know, stood up, got saved. Like, right. you know, it, it was a, um, I, I was, I had to have been about, uh, I was like 17 or 18. Right. I remember the service, I don't remember the year, but it was like 17 or 18. And, um, the pastor at my, at the church that I went to in New York, and where mom was to be president of, He'd given like a really, really good, you know, it was, it was a great sermon, great teaching. But with me, you know, I've heard, you know, because you know, I grew up in, you know, like you said, like you said, you grew up in church. I grew up in church. Yeah. You know, um, going to hearing different pastors, going to different conferences. Mm-hmm. You know, so I've heard it all before. Right. I've heard it all before. And, you know, and it was kind of like, all right, well, yeah, you know, I, I know, I know people can get emotional, you know, when they hear a message, but all right. Yeah. You know, was, I've been there, man. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, at 18, I'm looking at myself, yeah, I've, you know, I've heard all of it, you know, already. <laughs> so, so it was one of those, I mean, and, and like I said, great term, everything was great. Alt call happens. Mm-hmm. You know, so as many services as I've heard, I've heard just as many altar calls, uh-huh. right? And um, <laughs> it was one of those ones where uh, you you just knew that there was a you know, like like like, like the Holy Ghost was, was was moving. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you know, and he was, and he had told. You know, he had told um, someone, you know, that, you know, there are those who you need to come up now, you know. And I was just like, all right, you know, like, okay, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's hurry it up here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not even let's hurry it up, but, you know, all right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah. And usually that's how I am. But for some reason, I was just like, huh, you know. And then came the, you know, there's no guarantee that you will make it home. There's no guarantee that, you know, there's going to be a next week for you to do it. And this, you know, and I'm just like, all right, <laughs> you know, like, you know, and you say, and I got like that little urge on the inside. And I'm just kind of like, huh, all right. <laughs> so, so. I got up and I go and I go to my mother and I ask and I ask like, what are you seeing? And I'm like, cause you know, she, you know, you know, she just been, she was just rocking and I, I remember this so vividly. I was like, what are you seeing? You know, she's, you know, just kind of like shooting me away. Mm-hmm. And and I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, guys, they asked one more time, I'm, I'm gonna go, right? I'm, just, I'm gonna go, mm-hmm. right? You know, and the appeal one again. And in front of everyone, I go up. And now, now mind you, the pastor who's praying over me is the same one who did my christening. Wow. You know what I mean? Christening. Yeah. When I was baby. So, you know, so, you know, um, and he, he, he passed away um, um, recently, about a, a year ago. Mm-hmm. And I never forgot this moment, but he hugged me and and he made it personal. He said, "Sam, I'm so proud of you today. You know, so I'm very proud of you, Sam." And um, you know, and with that, you know, I gave I gave my life to God. Right. So I so I walk off with you know with with a um uh, I, th- I think I think it was one of my friends' father. 
who, who actually walked me off the side and we started talking, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. And I did, did the prayer, everything like that. And I come back out, you know, for...